Hello friends, permutations and combinations, a very very important topic for class 11 students and uh, a wide variety of problems are found uh, in this topic and students often confuse uh, when the questions of permutations and combinations are mixed and uh, they have to sort out whether to use permutations or to use combinations. So I am going to take up the uh, series of videos in which I will clarify all those things and uh, by taking some common examples I am beginning this series. So this is the first part in which I will be dealing with these two problems basically and uh, they are based on the fundamental principle of counting. And the fundamental principle of counting is the first concept in uh, this uh, important topic of permutations and combinations. And it states that if you have to do two works and the first work can be done in m ways and the second work can be done in n ways, then if you have to do both the works, then that can be done in m into n ways. So you have to multiply the independent number of ways of doing the different tasks and for do doing all the tasks, you have to multiply those things. Now in this question, we are asked how many three letter codes so we have to make three letter codes are possible from first 12 alphabets so overall there are 12 alphabets so a b c d e f g h i j k l a to l these are 12 alphabets and out of this we have to use one alphabet here so three letter code will have three alphabets so the, in the first part it is given that no letter can be repeated so repetition is not allowed so whenever repetition is not allowed, then the first alphabet can be filled in obviously 12 ways because any of the 12 from A to L can occupy the first place. But once one letter is used out of these 12, that letter cannot be used again because we are given that no letter can be repeated. So we have remaining 11 letters which can be used to fill the second place that is 11 times. So there are 11 ways in which we can fill the second alphabet. Similarly one more alphabet is used here. So now we have uh, out of 11 we have 10 left out. So the third uh, alphabet uh, this one this place can be filled by 10 ways. So we have found out the independent number of ways of filling the first place, the second place and the third place. So what does the fundamental principle of counting say? It says that if you have to fill all the three, then you have to multiply the number of ways in which the first place can be filled, the second place can be filled and the third place can be filled. So the total number of uh, letter codes in the first case will be the product of these three, which is say 12 into 11 is 132 and followed by a zero. So 1320 uh, codes are possible. And these codes will have no letter being repeated. Now what happens when the letters may be repeated once or twice or any number of times? Out of these A to L 12 alphabets, obviously this can be filled with 12 ways. Out of uh, A to L we can have any one alphabet here. But when repetition is allowed, then this second place can also be filled by any one of them irrespective of what we have used here. So in this case this went on decreasing by 1 but in this case it will not decrease by 1. It will remain the same when repetition is allowed. So 12, 12 and 12. And now again for the fundamental principle of counting just multiply the 3 and you should know what is the cube of 12 it is 1728. So these many codes are possible and these codes will have some alphabet either repeated or may not be repeated. So let us may be repeated. That means 1728 codes are possible. So I hope you have understood this question. Now we will utilize this concept here. How many numbers are there between 100 and 1000 in which all digits are distinct? Now see all digits are distinct that means no letter can be repeated. It is the same question but uh, it is concerning numbers. Now between 100 and 1000 we have only 3 digit numbers. 
because we start with uh, 101 and end up with 999 so all are three digit numbers now we are told that all digits have to be distinct so how many digits are there first of all 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so these are 10 digits now how many numbers are there between these three so we need to have a three digit number now all digits are distinct so repetition is not allowed see out of these 10 digits if you have to fill this 100 place this is 100 this is 10th and this is once 100 place cannot have this zero why because if you have a zero here then this will become a two digit number but we need a three digit number so 100 place can be filled with any one of these nine that is there are nine ways of filling the 100 place so out of these nine one of them is used here now we cannot use that again because all digits are to be distinct so suppose we have used six now we have eight here and including zero because zero can come here so nine more and if one more vanishes then we have eight more so how many total number numbers are possible we have to again use the fundamental principle of counting so just multiply these three and you get your answer this is 81 into 8 so this is 648 numbers are there between 100 and 1000 in which all digits are distinct so this is another very important question when it comes to the fundamental principle of counting now let's have one more question this is the b part of this uh, question number two now in this question we have to uh, find the total number numbers between 100 and 1000 in which every digit is either 2 or 9 so again three digit numbers so either 2 or 9 so we can fill this digit with either 2 or 9 that means there are only two ways of filling this two ways of filling this and two ways of filling this very simple so there are eight numbers between 100 and 1000 three digit numbers in which every digit is either 2 or 9 